Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel Maximum Automation. Today in this video, I am going to show you how you can attach a screenshot in LEO reports with NUnit framework. In my previous video, we have seen how we can integrate LEO with our NUnit test framework to generate the test result output in LEO HTML report. If you have not seen that video, then I would suggest going through that video first. I have copied the video link in the description or you can find the link in the I button above. Now this is my LEO report which got generated when we executed our N unit test. Here in this report, I have executed three test cases and out of them one got failed. Now if I go to another tab to see the test case execution status in details, then we can see this test case got failed. And if I move to the right side, then we can also see the failure reason where we have got no such element exception. So there could be any reason of failure like the element not displayed due to some bug in the application or might be the locator value used to identify the element is not correct. Right now, we cannot say what could be the exact reason of failure. But if we could have a screenshot of the application displayed over here, then we can verify if the element was displayed or not. If the element would have been displayed in the screenshot, then it means the issue is with our locator value. So whenever we have a failure, then the screenshot of the application plays a big role in analyzing the root cause of the failure. So now let's see how we can attach a screenshot which displays the state of the application at the time of failure. Let me go back to my project. To add a screenshot for the failed cases, first of all, we need to check if our test method status is failed or not. So I'll create one teardown method using nUnit teardown attribute. So the method marked with teardown attribute will be called immediately after each test method. And this method will always be called irrespective of our test is fail or pass. So let me create the method. I'm creating it with the same name as teardown. After that, inside this method, first I'll check if my test status is fail or not by using test context dot current context dot result dot outcome. This test context is defined under N unit, which provides the context information of current test. And I'll compare if outcome is not equal to result state dot success. And whenever we have a failure, then I'll attach a screenshot to the LEO report by using LEO lifecycle. dot instance dot add attachment method which will take three input parameters as file name file type and the path or content of file in format of byte array so first i'll provide the name as failed screenshot then the type as image png and the third input parameter is the content of the image and to get the image content let me create a byte array after that i'll take the screenshot of the web app by using i takes screenshot
and then I'll save the get screenshot method output as byte array. Now I'll pass this byte array content in the third parameter of add attachment method. So that's all we need to do to attach a screenshot for failed step. Now let me run the test again so that when we have a failure in our test method, then a script will capture the screenshot of the current state of the application. And same will be attached in LEO report to help us in analyzing the failed cases. So the execution is done. And we can see we have one failure over here. Now let me go to the LEO result folder. And then I'll open command prompt to generate the LEO HTML report by using result JSON files. Here you can see that we have got our latest LEO results. Three test cases got executed and one out of them is failed. Now, if I move to another tab to get the status of each test case in details. So here we have this failed test method. And if I move to the right side, then we can see here we have the failure reason of this test method. We have got no such element exception. And now if you want to verify whether the element was available on the page or not, then we can refer this attached screenshot of the application. Here we can see that it captured the screenshot of the application. And in a screenshot, we can see that the password field did not displayed because it did not move ahead from the email screen. And the reason is because of invalid email ID provided in the test data. So this is how we can analyze our failed test cases with the help of application screenshot at the time of failure. And now because we know the reason of failure, so we can update our script accordingly. So that's it for today. I hope you like this video. Please put your comments in the comment box. Also, please do not forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.